Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Right, so something that got very requested for sort of me to have a look at and for sort of me <laughs> and kind of I don't know I guess analyze to a certain extent and and for Bali to bring in her musical expertise uh, was uh, something to do with drumming, which is obviously lovely, and it's Shiva Mani. Shiva Mani. Uh, solo performance at Berkeley, it's not another. Of course. So I don't think how much I can add when all the fucking geniuses are there and I'm here. He was the drummer in that last video that we watched with the. Uh, oh, well, he was standing up. Interesting. Yes, Go yes, the, yeah. So he's he's gonna perform here. That's his set. Yeah, oh, all right. It's no bloody chair. No, no, no. He's standing up. What? <laughs> no. Doesn't everybody do that ever, though? <laughs> He's kind of like, I guess, I don't know, parody those rudimentals. Oh, hello, flashness. That is cool, man. What? How did the... Sorry, but how did the... Okay, so this is like came out of a Disney musical or something. Like, this is what every Disney musical ever tried to do. Oh, well, he was doing a parody there. Yeah, parody, so he was doing... And then he kind of sped it up. And then that's when people then... Because I da, guess, da, da. I guess, yeah, I guess they're not but dummies. How did you, but no, but I did, I wouldn't know. I would be standing there looking at... If the musical at... theory, maybe you don't, yeah, you maybe what? catch it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> then I guess it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know, just making... I'd be the odd weirdo that would clap in the wrong place. <laughs> I want to see more, go on. Like, this is so fun. No, but no. obviously very impressive. I, I'm, I'm putting it like he's not impressive. It's obviously, it's funny. He nice. is a cool sir. Now I know! Oh, what the hell? Yeah, now I don't understand how they know. What? Damn. Nice. No, I'm sorry, that's what happens when you have a bunch of musicians. It's not the crowd though, audience. it's someone else. No, it's the crowd. Ah, okay, so he's got a mic, right? And before, I would imagine, before this came to be, yeah, he, he was, was probably, probably talking. I mean, this is very sick, a common uh, sort of a, uh, environment. If you've ever been a fan of Modern Drummer, uh, the festival, Modern Drummer mm -hmm. Festival, uh, nowadays, there's many festivals and many sort of like, uh, what would you call it? Conferences where drumming geeks, and they're just music fans go to and you get to see some of the best drummers at the moment. A lot of mm -hmm. some of the best, you know, touring drummers other some of the best jazz drummers um but cool man this is like uh, this is a, a familiar environment if you do like percussion and, and drumming uh, i suppose so, that's the audience that's there as well sure yeah not most likely well, I, it wouldn't be a bad bet but i i think like what's happened before i'd love to see the full version of this he probably did explain to them yeah he probably signature and also rudimentals like maybe he was gonna go through and uh, I doubt he had to go as deep as explaining what the fuck each part did he was gonna do and oh you never know maybe he explained what what because this is like a cultural uh, it's a cultural a uh, uh, conference I was looking at I was looking at uh, oh, I'm interested this in what's event. coming next yeah yeah I, I was looking at this event so they pick a country and then they dwell really Learn. deep into all the laws and different genres and stuff that. Are from that specifically from that oh, country, what do you know? and uh, and one of the most uh, sought after and the most popular conferences is when they do Indian music because they've got so much variety uh, on singing, on on rhythmentals, yeah. on rhythms, and mm -hmm. it changes according to the region of India. So yeah. so they really uh, go really deep. This is one of the few uh, universities that really go in depth Colleges. into yeah uh, music. In, uh, into the the music itself. Good on them. I yeah. think I think that's a realization that I've made only like you know a couple of months ago. That fuck me. There's so much more, and I you yeah. too, I know nothing. Go on. Literally. Bravo. He doesn't like to sit down. No, no, no. What the fuck? 
Oh, he's hitting it with his heel. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah. What a, oh, wow. What a crazy man. Oh, and he's facing the back. Yeah, but, but, yeah because the kick drum is on his back. What he's, the, what the he's hell? He's hitting it with his heel. No. Oh, this is cool, man. <laughs> He's got like a 360 type of like setup. <laughs> well, because he doesn't sit down, I guess he's able, capable of doing that. What 360 setup? Yes, sir. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, he's like a. It's gonna be a car. It's gonna be like a charra. Like a, yeah, but he has chest. I think. It is to do what he's doing with his right hand. No. That's fucking impossible, dude. Jesus Christ. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what a show, man. Yes, senor. Ah. That sounds like timbales, but it's not timbales, though, is it? It's like a floor turn, but drier. God. How does he keep rhythm? This is so hard. Those instruments on the side of what you call them. <laughs> ah, yay! <laughs> what? That is freaking mad! What on the earth? You know what's interesting? I mean, maybe this is more. Uh, I'd actually love to see more, like uh, him uh, playing with a band again. I, I think, I, yeah, that was, that was very impressive to see him. Uh, well, obviously very odd to him that he doesn't like to sit down. He likes to uh, be free. Similar to how a minor percussion is. I, I, I wonder how aware he is of, uh, you know, some other industries and other sounds. I'd imagine he, Probably, he is very, very well. aware. But like, yeah, just, I mean, this might sound bizarre, but, you know, even the way he, he likes to do rudiments, he reminds me of Tito Puente. Like, he seems to be, uh, if you don't know who Tito Puente is, I'd hardly recommend perhaps the best timbal player that ever existed and will ever exist uh, unless some guy grows a third arm somehow you know, <laughs> to do what that man could um, but yeah that certainly technique wise it's that's that's pleasant to not pleasant but I guess it eases my brain that it's not uh, technically so uh, uh, different um, there's no odd change apart from the fact that he does like to stand up which is I think I guess weird enough and he likes to hit this, the, the kick drum with his fucking heel. There is a technique. I forget what it's called. Um, you, you, this is your foot, right? And yeah. you go one, two, three. Okay. And you can kind of do like a triple drum oh, or okay. even like a double drum. Uh, yeah, you, you could do a lot of syncopation stuff. You could hit fives in ones. Because it's, it's like a triplet of a sound. Yeah, but you could do it. No, so but so you could go bam, 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 bam. 
All right. right. So then you could play pam 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 pam. So just five pam 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 six pam pam. Just three. Yes, yeah, so you could do a lot of you could do a lot of things. I've never actually tried that technique. It, it, it was something very new to me. I, I actually just came across it on YouTube not long ago. Um, and you know, I have to uh, say, I guess, disclaim that I'm actually not uh, uh, the most. My expertise isn't actually drumming. I just drum, but my expertise is minor percussion, um, congas and timbales and uh, uh, bongos. That's my area of expertise. Tambores. Yeah, tambores. Not, not drumming. Uh, drumming is actually, I guess, what seems to be because if not, you you're jobless in the music industry, the natural progression of things. And my father and I were discussing that because my father is a drummer. Um, and he was the drummer of many bands. Uh, and I was the minor percussion of many, even though I was very young. I kind of picked up a high level really early on, uh, uh, which I was very lucky to do because of the environment I grew up in. But it's that was really intrigued me about uh, Shiva Mani. So I wonder what his background is. Uh, it seems a lot of people in India do begin through minor percussion, mm -hmm. giving the huge establishment... Uh, the huge musical establishment and the emphasis on tablas and, and other uh, instruments. Minor percussion, yeah. Um, and also, they kind of not approach as minor percussion. They just approach as the only percussive thing that in which you can do classical Indian music in. So I wonder which part of India he is. Lots of questions. I apologize if I'm just verbal vomiting <laughs> it. Um, but this type of stuff, I find it very difficult to, like, chop as the video goes. Because, like, he's doing rudiments, right? So or he's doing... a. Uh, I, I, let me just say he's doing patterns of things uh -huh. right uh, so I have to see the pattern play out of course uh, in order to see it's what like the fuck it was yeah it's like when you watch uh, tap videos you have to yeah. see you have to see the whole step develop yeah yeah, yeah, yeah even yeah. if it's part of a choreo you can pick out you know the, the, the set pa uh, uh, steps no, so so I, in, in, in drum in tap uh, tap you dance have, you yeah in, ha in tap dance you have a core of steps mm. that you learn and they you can build from those steps like mm. you do in in pat, uh, drumming, drumming mm. right so you learn the patterns and the uh, rhythms and then you can build from that right. same as in, in tap is the yeah, same yeah. because it, it it comes from the drums right so what it, it, in tap dance you have the ta the tap dancers where the the rhythmic section of rhythm and blues and jazz in New Orleans, so the tap dancers would set up, set the 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 rhythm, and then the drummers and everybody else that was uh, uh, in the street uh, will play out to that rhythm. Uh, so yeah, I suppose somehow there there must be some uh, similarities in both. Yeah. It, it but uh, he has a minor percussionist approach to drumming. Yeah, it's really cool though. That would be my it's like conclusion. It's like a hybrid thing. It's like a is like Cause, a new style. Because he is a pursuer of sound. Uh-huh. Um rather than and I guess he's trying to exemplify And a showman. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I would imagine. Such a performance. But I, I think he's trying. That's what he's trying to, you know, sort of emphasize and use as an example through the suitcase that you can create sounds in in it. Uh, that's probably not very pleasant for the listener. But you can create sounds out of anything, and anything sounds, uh, and you can create sounds of anything. And it's just a matter of then focusing on creating melodious sounds and rhythms and patterns from the already set out patterns that you learned through college of music and and musical theory. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, you, you're trying to create music. You're mm -hmm. trying to create something that's melodious to the ear. Obviously, this may not be the most melodic thing that he, he's come up with in his life. But this is more and more like an exemplification of... It's an exhibition. Of things you can create with that fucking unbelievable set of instruments he's yeah. got. I actually wouldn't even know maybe 25% of the name of them. <laughs> I think I'll know 30% of them. The other 70... God knows. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> I don't. You know, I wouldn't yeah. be able to tell you what is each. Uh, so, very intriguing. Let us know, perhaps. I'd love to see him, yeah, more in a band setting. I want to see what his approach to actual musicality is and musicalization through instrument, percussive instruments is. I saw it a bit in the previous video, but I'd love to see it more and, and dwell a bit deeper in that. But lo lovely recommendation. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you find it enjoyable. And definitely. I, I love Added some you, value to it. I don't know. I love when you break these things down because it's definitely not my area of expertise. So I feel like I'll learn a lot with you. So thank you. <laughs>